performance, but we've got to give Georgetown most of the credit for that. They, they just jumped on us, and, and uh, they're a very difficult team, I think, to uh, play behind against because they're a great passing team. It's not like you're going to really uh, turn them over a lot. I mean, we did, but there's so many possessions. You know, 20 turnovers seems like a lot, but when there's that many possessions in the game, it's, it's not that many. And uh, I just think getting down like that early here and having to play that team from behind is, is really difficult to do. So I think it mostly uh, you know, it just came from the start to the game. You know, they go inside the row right away. We didn't want them to go inside the row. He scores first play. They get three. Freeman drives on us right away and scores. We just, we just, uh, they, they just really hit us early and we just, you know, we, we scrapped and fought, but it wasn't enough. Your defensive philosophy coming in this game, do you try to sag inside to help on our row or, or and give away the three pointer, or would you rather see you guys guard better on the perimeter? And... Well, I think it's, uh, I think it's, uh, when you're playing them, what's difficult is, is uh, you can't do that like you normally do. We, we try to watch inside. We try to play as a team, you know, and then try to um, not commit too much to Monroe that somebody else gets open. That's what I mean about when you get behind against that. So once you get behind and you're, you know, you're trying to double team and press against them, they've got every answer. If they go inside, you double. If you kick it out, they hit three. You know, hit threes like that. That's what I mean about not. If you're in a close game, you can make your decisions throughout the game. But when it gets like that against them, it's pretty difficult. Sure, what were you hoping to get out of your team after you got the technical? Uh, I, I didn't want to get the technical, <laughs> so I wasn't. I was hoping to get anything. I was hoping not to get the technical. Um, you know, you just you know, just trying to make a point, and you didn't want to hear it. He's going to be right. That's all. Your defense obviously has been a, a work in progress, I guess, all season. Not concerned. Are you able to be these kind of numbers? I'm not that concerned, uh, just because, like I said, once we got down in the first half, of the season, then it's, it's kind of a different game. You know, you, you don't want to uh, you don't want to play that team that way. I, I don't I don't want to come in and press that team and trap that team uh, the whole game. Uh, but when you're down and they're when they get in their rhythm like that. You know, if you just keep letting them do what they want to do, I think you're going to be in trouble too. So that's where you got to pick your poison. If you're kind of sitting half court against them and they're in that rhythm that they got into, you got to try to get them out of it. Then we try to get them out of it and we left them open for threes and throw threes. And, and then you found them. Right? You're good at You're really good at getting the ball inside and driving the ball. Are you concerned? It looked like you only had two guys willing to you know, try to score today. Um, is that concerning a little bit? No, I think it was more there. Their deep, you know, Antonio was in foul trouble. That was our kind of left us with no inside game. Um, you know, he was sitting most of the game. Um, he played 11 minutes, you know, and uh, so right, right there, you know, we're relying on perimeter play. Uh, I just think it was one of those. I just think they played great in the one, and, and uh, it's one of those games that um, you get down like that that early against a good team on the road, you, you're in trouble. Coach, how far went to the 38 fouls? And I know a lot came at the end yeah, of the time, but not really. Just, just uh, like I said, uh, you know, I don't like it. But I, I wish we did, but uh, you know, we were scrambling. We were yeah, down 19 in the first half, and again, it's not you're down 19 to a team that spreads the floor out, holds the ball anyway. So it's like if you do that against somebody else, it's not that big of a deal. But you're 19 against them is a big deal because it's. It, there's not that many possessions in the game the way they play. Do you want this is a good to have another game to play? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even though it is against West, yes. West Virginia and yeah. Morgantown. It's the only good thing about having to go on the road and go, I, I don't think I ever say I'm really excited about going to West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, how hard is it on the road right now with the snow situation? You guys came in a day early. And now, we're here early, we got over here early. Everything's fine. We had, you know, it's actually been nice, you know. We were sitting at home watching games on TV, so we got to play. Um, so it's actually pretty good for us. You know, it didn't affect us. Yeah, we, we got over here. There's no one on the streets. So it's pretty cool. Pardon me. Um, despite you know falling behind early, as you referred to, you guys still cut it to ten. You know, twice late. At, at that point, what was your level of optimism, or what was your thinking about this is doable? This is three shots. This is or what? 
And in the game, I always think I'm going to do it. I think it got to about 50 seconds where I thought, you know, I still was complaining about a call in front of me with two seconds left. I thought they traveled and yeah. the refs said, you know, easy, easy. And he was right. So, you know, so what? They call travel. <laughs> so I, I still believe, I do, I believe we're going to win it. You get a little time to cool down at the end and then you realize, you know. But that's a real positive thing I can say. We didn't quit. Because You'd like to be saying more than that. Because of us, you're saying their ability to go inside and outside. I mean, just how difficult are they when they're going this good? When you look around the rest of your league. I think, you know, I said this when we played them up there. I think they're as good as anybody in our league. You know, when we played them up there, I said that. I said, that's it's a great win. And they're as good as anybody. They can beat anybody in the country. Um, when they get all five of those guys clicking, and that's, that's what I said, they, in every game, they get it going at some point. But they got it going at the beginning, and we didn't. We turned. The other thing was our turnovers in the first half. We did. We 16 turnovers in the first half. Um, so, you know, you're playing against them in the half court, and then they're getting out and getting easy baskets because you turn ball. That's that's why I say I, I probably, I don't know if I'm just doing this, but I don't think it's going to be a team in the league you want to get behind on that will be tougher to play against than them because they pass so well. And they, and, they, and they spread you out. So when someone's trapping you, that's what you do. Jake, did you talk about the job John has done considering he has a limited bench? Yeah, I, produce this way. I think they've done a great job. And, and uh, there, there are times when that's a positive for you as a coach, and you like it, and there's times you don't. You know, and that's what we were trying to do. Trying to do their, um, you know, just once we got down, we're like, all right, let's just try to wear them out. You know, but I think those guys played with great. Uh, energy and, and mental toughness, you know. Uh, uh, you got to give them a lot of credit, give John a lot of credit. You know, Freeman played 40 minutes for press in the whole game. But we had guys one time, you know. He played all 40 minutes. Uh, and he, he, he kept everybody fresh. You can see beside him, you know, the next guy played 34 minutes. Jake, isn't the run the best balance? Is there such a thing as a good loss? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. But, I mean, you know, my concern is that, you know, we didn't defensively. Terrible start the game and and offensively we turned the ball over. You know, I, I don't have the possession, but we had 16 in the first half, so it seemed like we had maybe like four or five out of our first eight possessions. You can't, you know, you can't start a game on the road that way, and that, that concerns me. Coach, what would you say about Steve um, Reynolds? You know, coming back to a home and you know, earning high, high school and just being here. What did he tell you about just really wanting this game and what was in his mindset? coming into D.C., you know, back home? Well, the good thing about him is he approaches every game the same way. He really does. And, and uh, uh, you know, he, just, he, he struggled in the first half. And there's no doubt in your mind when, when he does that, he's going to get it going in the second half. And, and I know he, I know he likes coming back here, but I also know he's learned throughout his career he can't, you know, he can't get over excited about one game or, or another. And, and he just brings it every night. And I don't think being back home affects him anymore. Sometimes he used to play better. Sometimes he got too excited. Right now, I don't think it affects him. What's your itinerary now? The weather and the quick turnaround. I'm not sure yet. We were going to go to stay here and go to the Wizards game plan. Is that all? Oh, oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. I don't know if I want to sit here for that. <laughs> <laughs> the, players, the, the, the only thing I'd be thinking about watching the game would be our game. So uh, we're going to stay here tonight. We're going to try. We were going to do that anyway, and then uh, uh, just try to make our way early to the morning. Just get try to get to West Virginia. That's I don't know how bad it's going to be, but. Just trying to get there and then we'll figure it out from there. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.